Hi friends, my name is Ted. I'm recovery pastor here at Calvary, and I have your word for the day. Have you ever been so frightened that the hair on the back of your neck stood up? Maybe when you were younger, you thought you saw a ghost or a goblin or something like that. Do you remember the fear and the sheer terror? Was your first reaction to scream? Or perhaps you were so scared you just froze and as the adrenaline rushed through your body, you just stood and shook uncontrollably. There's a passage in scripture that deals with Jesus' disciples facing an overwhelming fear. Mark chapter six, Jesus reaches, sends his disciples across the lake and he heads up into the hills to pray. And while he was praying, a storm arose on the lake and the disciples spent many long hours battling the storm and the waves. Jesus finished praying and decided to walk across the lake to the top, on the top of the water, right through the storm. And as he was about to pass by his disciples, they saw him. And perhaps someone in the boat saw him first and cried out. It was that cry of fear that got everyone's attention. And then they saw him. There in the dark, among the billowing waves, was his figure of a man walking on the water. Verse 49 says, But when they saw him walking on the sea, they thought it was a ghost, and they cried out. For they all saw him and were terrified. I can imagine the conversation that went on amongst them at that point. What is it? One asked. It's a ghost, replied another. What do we do? And as fear took over, the Bible says they cried out in terror and they were terrified. Can you, can you relate to the fear of the disciples? Has your life been battered by fear, chaos, confusion brought on by the COVID storm? If so, I want you to be, be encouraged by the way Jesus handled the storm the disciples were in and the fear that overwhelmed them. Verse 50, seeing, seeing their fear, he immediately spoke to them. You know, I can remember as a kid having nightmares and waking up to find my mom and dad sitting there at the side of the bed saying, it's okay, I'm here. And the sound of their voice calmed my fears and brought a level of peace. For his disciples, Jesus' words had that same effect. Take heart, it is I, do not be afraid. And then he got into the boat and the wind ceased. Verse 51 says, and they were amazed. 2 Timothy 1.7 tells us that God did not give us a spirit of fear. If the circumstances around you are creating uncontrolled fear, then you feel that you can't move and your lifeboat is about to sink in the storm. Let me offer you a solution. Take heart. Jesus is there. There's, he's there waiting for you to invite him into your boat, waiting for you to let him calm the events that have caused your spirit of fear. Ask him into your boat. 